Hey guys, SlySonic7 back again, and today we're going to be taking on a brand new game that I haven't actually played on this channel yet. It's a Madden 6. I don't know if I've ever said this before, uh, I'm originally from Tampa, Florida, so that gives me the terrible misfortune of being a Bucks fan. So, it used to be great growing up, because you know, in like the late 90s and stuff, they were amazing. What happened with that timing? Um, and they were just, you know, have been god-awful ever since they won the Super Bowl in 2002, and there's the lag already, this would be a good time. So, uh, definitely excited to try this out. I haven't actually gotten to play online against someone yet, and I'm starting to regret it already with the lag. But what I wanted to just basically do is, I'm a huge Madden fan. I love the game, and I think it's a great thing. Um, so what I would really like to do is kind of play this game, do an online one to start out here. Um, but then one other, I want to kind of like do kind of some other like, you know, kind of plays through it. So there's different modes they have for anyone who's played Madden before. There's playing online, there's playing random games against friends, obviously. I think he's going to run here. What will we call it right? Fumble! Oh, damn it. <laughs> um, okay. So, you know, there's playing online, playing against friends, there's playing as a franchise and having a season, there is, um... There's this new one they have here called Draft Champions that I find really interesting. You're not getting anywhere. Um, where basically you draft, you kind of like fantasy draft a team and you play that, but you don't get to draft the full team, you get to basically like start off with a base of like very bad players and go from there. That's the next one I really want to do, but to focus in on this game, this guy, um, his third and nine here, we're going to switch to a linebacker here, because we're going to be going into zone here. Let's cover the short routes. Yes, made him drop it. Um, so this Madden game is very different from the other ones. It actually brought in a brand new um, dynamic to it, which is called um, air, super air Superiority. So basically, how it used to work in the other games was that if you wanted to ever use or control your wide receiver to make him try to catch, you made him press Triangle. And Triangle would just be user catch, and that would be for all functions. That was a great punt. I'm down to six. Um, okay, so to start off, I think I just actually want to run up the middle here. Let's just start going. Um, basically, though, now you have three different types. You get to um, have an aggressive catch, which is basically, you know, like, oh, I'm double covered, but I'm going to just sky into the air and try to catch it. And that's Triangle. You have your possession catch, so basically, like, I'm doing a short little slant route, I just want to catch the ball. Or a curl route, you know, standing still. That's X. Then you have an on the run catch, which is square, so, you know, like, for instance, I'm going to try to hit Mike Evans here. Nope. Oh, and I got a safety, that's great. I need to remember that I need to press the buttons a lot faster in this than I normally would, um, because of the lag. So, not the best start ever, but it's two points. We can live with it. Um, we stopped them on our first drive, so that was really good. So let's just have to try to do that again. So the interesting part, though, is that all the different catches come with their own uh, trade-offs. So on the run is great if you want to try to catch and keep running, but it's harder if you catch that and take contact immediately, because then you'll have a greater chance of dropping it. Intercepted! Oh, Matt Ryan gets us. That's sad. Okay. So, first time did not go well, but let's see how we go. Um, I also have to say, as a Bucks fan, I am not a huge fan of Jameis Winston. Oh, uh, we're going to hot wrap that. Okay. Um, so, for me, it's pretty sad, actually. Oh, my God. We got that. Thank you. Go! Go! Oh! <laughs> We didn't deserve any of that, but I was taking every second. Um, okay, so we're on the nine-yard line now. But um, for me, it was just—it's a character thing. Uh, I just—it's I, I, not even about what happened in college. It's just like I, I don't know how he's going to be being on a team that is going to lose a lot. And I don't—and I think our team needs a quarterback who is okay, not okay with losing, but you know knows that it's part of a process and like works to get better instead of kind of like being frustrated that they're not doing well immediately. So that that's my only real concern right there. So I, obviously I hope it works out just because you know, I'm a fan of the team as I said, but you know, you never know. Um, 
I need to get someone wide open though. <laughs> um, this is not working out well. I'm a little bit worried because of the lag when it comes to these kicks about you know the actual timing because I have to press it way before it ever gets up there on my screen because I know it will stop later than expected. Okay, but that was good. So the reason why I say that though is that it may have impact late game situations where we're like at the like 30 yard line and normally you're like oh it's a 40 yard 47 yard field goal you can totally make that with an NFL kicker you can but not if you're kicking with 60% of his power give your defense a little rest quick drop back looking long to Julio Jones he caught it ah motherfucker that was pretty awesome. And, just, like, there's a great example of, like, just seeing someone who can, like... He's the superior wide receiver in this game, obviously, so he just jumps up and gets it, outruns my guy. Pretty great. I definitely smell a run here, though. So let's see. Oh, he's got me so bad. Okay. Touchdown to him, and I need to figure out how the hell to get off the field. Because it's just not working right now. What the fuck? What kind of a hit was that? No, no, I'm pissed off. It's fourth and four. We're going for it at our own 41. This can only turn out well. <laughs> All right, well, let's see how it goes. Again, the lag makes this really hard because you have to throw before the break actually happens for wide receivers, so you kind of had just picture. Got him. That's all that matters. First down, we keep going. Thing just happened. We're on their 36-yard line. Just got to keep driving it down the field. Got him. Go, Doug. Go, Doug. Okay. Um, now we're in a weird position where I actually kind of want to let this time ride a little bit because I don't want him to have much time to get the ball back and try to score on me before halftime. So we'll see what happens here. Alright, we got Safarian. Let's go. Touchdown! Okay. So, with this extra point now, we're actually me leading the game now, but we left in 56 seconds, so a little bit concerned about how this is going to go. Our extra point just barely makes it. Damn. The thing I'm obviously concerned about here is him going deep with Julio Jones. Like, oh, yes! Oh, that's awesome. Okay. We're on there, 47, 47 seconds left. Hey, 47. And, um... If we can score a touchdown, that'd be awesome. All I want is a field goal. I want to be up by four points right here, right before halftime. That would be great. Go, go, go! Oh, ah, I'm gonna be a dick. I'm gonna be a dick. <laughs> Made him wait. All right. So we just scored another touchdown. That's awesome. Um, and we do this extra point to go up eight points. This has been working out really well. <laughs> They can get Just the barely, game. yeah. <laughs> um, okay, one play, 47 yards, good. And we're going to do a kickoff again. Again, 39 seconds left. Could technically score with a really deep pass to Julio Jones. Hoping that does not happen. Um, here comes, oh, it's not Hester, thank God. Yes! Not there. Cool. And I want to see if I can um, run out the entire game clock on this possession. Like, just run out the entire second half so he never gets the ball back. Because we're up by eight points right now. Technically, he can get the ball back and still not beat us right now. But it would be hilarious to see what happens if he doesn't get the ball back. And also, if he quits because of, as a result of that. That's running too well, though, and I'm not going to stop because we're just running that well. Go, Doug. Okay. <laughs> that draw worked out really, really well, but way too well. We can no longer run at the clock. Just kidding. We'll save that for another time. <laughs> um, so for right now, I think we're just going to continue to try to have fun with this. 
I do want to keep running clock, though, just because we do have the lead. There's no reason for us to be aggressive with passing and really give him a chance to come back in this game. So we're just going to actually dive forward there. And next time we go, this play clock will run down to 10 seconds because of two clock. And it's a really great way, if you're actually playing online against someone, to um, get a great advantage later in the game is that most online games, unless they're really just mismatched, tend to be close, at least in the start of the second half. Because the first half, everyone's still trying to figure out each other. So, as a result, um, this is a really great way in the second half to try to get that last score, or do whatever it is, you know, burn the clock to the field goal, or just burn the clock and actually score a touchdown. That can win you a lot of games because the other person can't stop you from running the clock. Because even if you have negative plays, like I just did, you know, you're still getting the time off. And there we convert our third down, which means that we can run even more time off. And as you see, this pattern keeps progressing. So I'm just going to cut ahead to show whatever happens on this drive. And then we'll see what our opponent does as a response. Because we don't have enough. We cannot actually run the entire game clock, given our position. He's down. Dropping back three. Intercepted. Keeps turning ahead. All right. Well, that did not turn out how we wanted. And oh my God, no way. That it might, this might be one of the best pick sixes I've ever seen. So he just got it, and now, yep. He is about to score on us, getting a like 101 yard pick six. That is crazy. That is a really, really bad way to end off that drive after we burned four and a half minutes. Um, as a result, though, um, I know exactly what we're gonna do when we get the ball back if he does if he scores here. He's gonna pass this, obviously. Absolutely, that's what you want to do, and I think he got Yep, he got it. Okay. So tie game now, seven and a half minutes to go. And what I'm gonna do now is what I planned to do before, which is run that entire damn clock off and kick a field goal to win the game. Uh, really shitty how that ended up, because, you know, we could have at least taken a field goal there. But, um, you know, here we go, I guess. Alright, converted third to 19. Jesus, we're getting ourselves in some trouble here. <laughs> Go with the dime formation here on defense. The Alright, fourth down, we decided to go for it. Not the best decision in the world, but we got it! That's all that matters. Uh, that was a user control. I moved my guy underneath the defender and then pressed triangle for the aggressive catch just to really hold on to it. And it uh, worked out pretty well, actually. So we're on their 40 right now. Four minutes to go. This is really all about just pacing right now. Because what I want to do is probably get to the 20 to kick this field goal, which is definitely possible. Now I have third and three, and I'm on the 33-yard line running down the clock further, further, further. And the more you can do this, the better it can be overall. So let's see. Oh, wide open. Wide up! Oh my god, he got it. Oh my god, I tried to hurdle and he got hurt. No, he didn't get hurt. Sweet. I really thought I threw it too late because of the, uh, because of the lag. And then I was like, shit, I missed my chance, and then I was going to throw a pick, and it was all going to be over. He caught it, and then I accidentally jumped because I was trying to still press catch the triangle button. I was like, catch it, catch it, catch it, and then he just jumps and gets completely cartwheeled. All right, two minutes left. Um, this guy had better start using his timeouts here, because I'm just going to run the ball if not, and then just win the game here. Uh, let's go, strong toss, cool. I'm out. This guy doesn't believe in it, I guess. Um, he hasn't called a timeout the entire game, so I also don't know if he understands how to call a timeout. <laughs> um, so, as a result, um, we're just going to run this ball up the middle here. Uh, going to get a third and one. I'm doing that on purpose also, just in case he did call a timeout so we can convert the first and still have more time. Um, but here, I'm, I'm going to press go. I don't really care where this ball goes, if it's first down or not. Actually, I mean, I probably do, but um, I'm just going to hold on to the ball so I don't lose it. And now I'm just going to press field goal. Clock's going to run. 
you don't have to worry about deep passes. And anymore. six, you can be five. Okay, yeah. Uh, you finally call a timeout now? What is wrong with you? The Buccaneers. Okay, but as a result, we're here, and we are actually able to use the entire game clock. And now five, four, three, two, right two seconds left. They were thinking and we just kicked drive, the, end, the what should be game-winning field goal. So here we go. Uh, we're going to go for a squib kick. So Madden actually took out the squib kick function. So basically what I'm going to do is just point the arrow down and just give it a pretty good whack. Um, and now he's going to catch this to one. And the second we tackle him, game over. The Bucks win a game! And with that win, we equaled half of the Bucks' 2014 win total. That is how bad my team was last year. <laughs> um, so guys, it's been a ton of fun playing online, trying to do this. Um, the burn clock strategy actually worked out, which is really cool. Um, in the next episode of Madden, I think what I'm going to do is show you guys the draft champions functionality that they have, where you basically draft your own team and you play a couple games against kind of, you know, random teams that draft players. So you can see below, um, the second quarter is really what won us the game there. But our, you know, our second half was really trying to just burn that clock. So overall, it actually worked. And as you can see, we had more passing, rushing, and takeaways than the Falcons, and that usually means, as the score would show, that you win the game. So guys, this has been Slice Sonic Seven. Thank you so much for watching. We get a ton of ranking points for how we did that, and I will see you guys in the next one.